Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Borderlands 2. In the last episode, we ended up here. And like I said, like I promised, I was going to be up here where this chest is. In the last episode, I was like, hey, uh, I'm going to end, yeah, end this episode right here and then end up here at this little hallway, if you will, on this path. Well, I... Uh, and then I was like, oh yeah, there was a chest up here. So I was going to say, and then I said, I'm going to meet you guys up here in the next episode. Here I am. And I didn't open the chest. Move the mic a little bit. It seems like a little little far away. All right. But before we get started here, make sure to subscribe, like, and share. Help my channel out. We all deserve a little bit of help, you know. All right, so. What I did. I thought there was like a secret ledge or something here. But if you see that little shelf right here, you jump up that from right there to right there. Then you got to be careful of this rock right here because this rock will bounce you that way. And when you bounce that way, then you'll miss. So you got to basically start back there, make a sprint, and then pretty much jump right about here. And then make it to here. Try to stay away from this rock right here because the, the face of this rock right here is actually a little further out when it comes to the hitbox. And it'll force you outward. Alright, let's see what junk we get. Yep, it was junk. I just knew it. But hey, we made it anyways. Yuck. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and get some uh, ammo and some grenades. Real quick. Ran out of shotgun shells fighting all those stalkers. And hope everybody checks out my very, very short video of the thank you to all the subscribers. I noticed I got a 14th sub subscriber this last weekend. Now, all I can say is welcome aboard and thank you for joining. And I hope you uh, enjoy your stay. Alright, let's move on here. Your promises are empty. Empty. That was cool. Oh, I knocked out that guy. Nice. Man, I knocked out that guy too. Why don't you just teleport me over there, huh? She could just teleport me over there. She'll probably send me straight to Handsome Jack with a gun straight in my face. Knowing those peeps. <laughs> Gotta make sure to keep a uh, field on ammo here. You white. Slight, nice, slight, exoskeleton, destruction. Oh, I hear him, I hear him coming. Where are you? Those my shields, huh? They hung on. Nice. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up the energetic, you know, feeling in my videos. Like I said, I don't want to be like everybody else. I want to be myself. But at the same time, I want to be, you know, try to follow other people. I like the energy. And not copy them. Which is not easy to do, by the way. 
I knocked him down. <laughs> Blew off his leg. That's how you do it. Well, that's not going to stop a thresher, though, is it? They're going to eat what they want to eat. Sounds like I'm not loud enough. I don't want to be loud, but... You know what I mean. My volume is not very high. I have to do that in editing and change the volume a bit. Yep. No. Oh, I know you're coming, dude. Always go for the joints. The arm joints, leg joints. You always get criticals that way. It's hard to hit the head. That little light on the head. It's possible, but it's hard. But well, not all robots have the light on the, the head there. Ah, oh, I hit him anyways. <laughs> nope. Exploder. Got him. A reminder to all Hyperion robots. Any and all supply drops close to thresher attack will be taken out of your theoretical pay. Theoretical pay. Nice. Oh that, that fake pay, you know that you know that that totally real fake pay. <laughs> uh the Hyperion. That uh, sounds like the worst job in the universe. Any Hyperion robot able to terminate a pressure will be awarded with the ability to be proud of the fact that they terminated a pressure. Oh, they get to be proud. Gotta get right over there. So there should be a ladder there. I feel like I'm not talking enough. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Under no circumstances are Hyperion robots to A. Approach the local pressure or B. Gain self-awareness. Self-awareness. I know it's like a slight boss fight over there. You gotta take out another uh, constructor. Come on. You're taking forever. You know what comes out tomorrow? Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3, man. Actually, this video will be going out on the same day as Kingdom Hearts, so... I'm guessing nobody's gonna be watching this video. Oh, there's a chest up there? I never noticed that. Oh, what? I might have to go check that chest out. Oh well, we're gonna go. I never found this chest before. For some reason, all these years since I own this game, I know you have to fight a like pretty much a sub boss here for. Hey, uh, not handsome Jack. What am I trying to say? I can't remember his name. Wow, my memory is so dead. Really perfect for a YouTuber, right? Having no memory. So I think I mentioned this in an episode a while back. Another video I did. Could have been Dusk. Where I literally, every time I need to think of something, it just disappears out of my head, even though I know the name or object. It just vanishes as soon as I need to say it. Nah, I know what that is. Any bots attempting to steal Iridium crystals will be congratulated for their initiative before their public disassembly. It's the longest way over. It takes forever for this to go. Come on, man. Hurry up. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't wait to play uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. I own almost every game. There's a couple I don't own, apparently. But I've played almost all of them. Big fan of Kingdom Hearts. Do you see those lunar supply shots? We need to steal a lunar supply beacon and get the moon base to send you an uncalibrated fast travel unit. You can use that to get Sanctuary back on the fast travel network. Simple. Except not at all. Under no circumstances are Hyperion robots a approach the local threat. Start it run. <laughs> That's my weakness, I know what it is now. As soon as I get into a firefight, I stop talking. Run! Drop turret! Got it. And I got a little bit of my bar back for my special. Nice. Hey, uh, those types of uh, SMGs are not too bad. Like this, I've used them before. They're not too bad. I like the accuracy on them. I wouldn't use them long term though, but if you have to get an upgrade for a moment, then that's worth it. And. Oh, another boss fight. Well, sub boss. He's got high shields. I don't think I got anything for shields. No. Well, well, well. I do have the grenade, and that's all I got. Maybe I'll switch to this. It has a, wi a wider area of effect. So I'm going to switch to that. Less damage, but better overall you gotta get a shield generator back from a thresher and don't try to attack him in this form right here because I don't think you, yeah, you can do damage but it doesn't count because of that did that thresher just get the beacon? no Done. Thanks to the Stormfront and uh, Baby Maker. You've got the beacon? Good. We can use that to request an uncalibrated fast travel unit from the moon base. You'll need a quiet place to set up the beacon. Head to the town of Overlook. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Hyperion's mining operations, the people of Overlook suffer from the skull shivers. They won't disturb us. Man, my shoot, my shooting, man, so bad. I don't know if I'm supposed to be up here or not. I know there's like one of these has a tiny chest on it. Maybe? To fit on the little ledge, I think they made one of the red chests really, really small. And it's so darn cute. Let's see if I can find it real quick. 
Now that I'm coming up to one of the harder parts of the game, for me it was pretty difficult, I'm not going to lie, is to protect that shield generator while you f uh, fend off a bunch of robots that's constantly being spawned in, including BAs, bad a-holes, if you will. Let's see here. Nope. I think it's on the other side. Hope I can find it. Be like I'm talking up my butt if I don't. Let's see if I can even get up here. Is there a tiny chest over there? Or am I like imagining things? I can't be imagining things. Did they get rid of it? So I think it was like right here in one of these corners. What? No. Well, well I guess I was talking up my butt. <clears throat> Maybe I just don't know where it is anymore. It's been so long since I've seen it. Man, that sucks. <clears throat> I might have to look it up and do like a short video or something. At least I, I think I'm blind or something. I don't know. Let's move on. Maybe I'll find it some other time. Ready for some talking from Handsome Jack? But well, here we go. Oh, this is so frustrating. You see, this is what I don't get about you bad guys. You know the hero's gonna win, but you just don't die quickly. Man, uh, example. There's one guy in New Haven, right? City's burning. People are dying left and right. Yada, yada, yada. This jackal rushes me with a spoon. <laughs> a freaking spoon. And I'm dying laughing, right? So I scoop out his stupid little eyeballs with it. And his kids are all, Wah! And I, I can't even. Oh, he can't see where he's going. He's pumping into stuff. And I. Wow. <clears throat> wow, dude. Man, there's like an invisible wall here. I was trying to sneak across. Game's like, nope. Invisible wall. Invisible wall. Yeah. All day long. It's like I'm pull uh, playing a bullet hell right now. Which I suck at. Me and my brother, or my brother, had a uh, on uh, Super Nintendo. He had Gradius, Gradius Three. He was really good at the game. Me, no. I was so bad at it. I think I barely made it past sec uh, the second level. And that was with luck. It's probably why I have bad luck, bad luck now because I tried to play a bullet hell back then. And all my luck was taken away. Just to get to second level. Okay, I know I can kind of see that gun through that flag. The banner. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get any views for a while. Only because the Kingdom Hearts coming out. Yeah, everybody's going to be focused on that. Even including me. But I'll still be uploading though. Don't worry. Catch a raw. This base can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. But I like taking it over. For loot. I take my time when I play these games. Because I like to level up. Search for loot. Explore. Even though I know these areas. Your loot chances are always different though. 
You know what I thought about doing in this game? I thought about like starting instead of starting the game from the very beginning, like level one. I thought about playing through an entire campaign until I get to play through two and then starting the game then. <laughs> and I was like, eh. Well, I started to like if it, if there's somebody that never played this game, I don't want to give them mic, you know mixed symbols or signals about the game, saying that ooh it looks hard. Well, no, it's because I started in the second playthrough instead of the first playthrough. So I'm thinking of everybody here. So you, the people that has played this game and know the story, you get to just watch for fun and see and just join along with my adventures. And the people that's never played this game before they get to see it, see it from the very very beginning well I can always like to say that I'm starting a playthrough too but eh, I'm trying to make it fair for everybody and I don't mind it it's fun I've been playing these games for years on and off <clears throat> and there's very few games in my library or my lifetime that I know of that I actually can keep going to and playing over and over again and don't get tired of it. And one of them's the Borderlands series. I like Doom, Quake, and Hexen. All those old style shooters. Anything from id Software, I guess. I like Bethesda and the Elder Scrolls and Fallout series. I just don't go to It's like it's hard to play when you become a, a parent. Because I'm a father of two. And I'm married. But it's very, it's kind of difficult to play RPGs. You know, RPGs require some serious time to play. It makes it more harder to play those games. But I still try, though. I can't get about, give up on my RPGs. They are my favorite genre of games. Including, you know, first person shooters, I guess. That's everybody in some way or form or fashion. Always blow these guys' arms off. There you go. And all they have is that uh, electric shot from their eye or whatever that is. And that's easy to dodge. So. And they got their rockets too. Those can be easily dodged because you they give you plenty of time before they fire them. Because you see the back open up and aim at you. Then they change their stance, so you got plenty of time to run behind something. Not unless you're completely out in the open. Well, then good luck. <laughs> Those rockets do a good amount of damage, I guess. It seems like I say that word damage a lot. Maybe I watch too much of the commercials when it comes to that one guy with the flex, flex tape and all that stuff. Now that's a lot of damage. I saw this bone in here. Phil Swift, that's his name. I can remember his name, but I can't remember that NPC's name. What is up with me? Damn. But the NPC that you meet at the beginning of the game in the Southern Show? Hammerlock, that's it. Sir Hammerlock. For some reason, that name completely escaped my head. Sorry for the bad memory, guys. It's just, guys, it's just me. I've always had bad memory. If you watch one of my earlier episodes, I said that it might, it's like I know a lot of classic rock bands and whatnot because I grew up with them. But if my dad, if he asked me what's his name of this band or what's the uh, name of the, uh, the main lead singer or whatever, even though I know it by heart, when I get asked, I, I instantly forget, and I can't remember. I don't know why. I hate that. It's so annoying. So if I do that a lot, I'm giving you guys fair warning. That that happens to me way more often than it should. That's just me, though. <clears throat> That's my quirkiness. But see if I catch these guys unaware. <clears throat> nope, they, they saw me first. There's usually some soldiers that come down. Goodbye. Hey. Hey, flag. Oh, I see you, okay. 
<laughs> but I saw that barrel too. You picked the wrong spot, uh, wrong, wrong place to hide. Right behind a toxic barrel. Ew. Rose. It's like it's alive. Fizz X makes gooey stuff alive. <laughs> Yummy. It looks like lime jello or something. Anybody hungry now? For lime jello? Alright, storm front. Go get them. Oh no. They ran too far out. I got one of them though. Yeah, I like the storm front. I want a leveled up one. I want a higher level. Can't wait to get that unkempt herald out of my storage box because that thing level 43 and it's a double penetrating unkempt herald which is the best kind because it shoots more rounds than it says is there is it's a really powerful version that's why I kept it even though it's not max level though love to have one that's like level 60 or 70 I think that'd be awesome oh dude and just like Borderlands 1, I'll, uh, but just like Borderlands 1, I'm just going to do the first playthrough. I'm not going to do the second one. I do that stuff off camera on my own time. Why? It's because there's some stuff I want to say for you guys, especially for the people that are new to Borderlands. Hey, man. Jump scare me like that. But there's some people that are new to Borderlands, even to this day. That's probably thinking about picking it up because they probably heard about Borderlands 3 about to come out and whatnot. So, I'm doing it for them. You know, I just do the first playthrough. Because you, everybody knows that if there's any people out here on that's uh, following my channel and watching my videos, they know that there's some changes when it comes to the second and third playthrough. There's some changes and differences compared to the first playthrough. And everybody can do the first playthrough, so I, I show them that part. I don't show the second playthrough because I'm saving that for the people that have not yet played this game and whatnot. Well, this construction is more tough than that last one. Boom. Boom. Oh, so it's so satisfying when you blow up those. Ow. My shield sucks, guys. I hate these bulldozer types. They are so, so annoying. You know what can get them? Oh, you got that shield in front of you, huh? You can block most damage, huh? Well, not for that. That thing explodes, it just destroys them even though. Oh, that shield don't matter. Explosive damage goes right through you. Ha! Why do I keep pushing the right mouse button? I don't need it. What's this? Fight for your lifetime and a second wind hell. Hmm. Not really worth it, if you will. I'm very particular about my class mods and whatnot. I want legendary. That's what I want. What a terramorphous. The only invincible boss I've ever killed on my own. Actually, I've never played this thing in multiplayer. Not unless it's couch co-op with my wife or my brother when he used to live with us. It's the only time I ever played couch couch co-op, not online or nothing. No, I knock his arm off. Let's see if I can hit him from here. And it just flies right back. There we go. Ah. This gun is very powerful. Only problem with it is, is that it drains your ammo very quickly. They didn't drop any loot, besides a little bit of money. What? 
Not let's see if their loot sank through the ground, which tends to happen here and there. It is so lame. Yeah, uh, there's a little secret area right here that has like some boxes in it and a switch. I'm not gonna go in there just yet. On the way out, I will. Yeah, no, I'm not doing any uh, story progress and whatnot, but I like to adventure in this game. If I see a little base, I like going in there to see what I can find when it comes to new guns. I'd love to have a new sniper rifle. I've had this one for a while. I want something a little bit more powerful. Plus, you know, maybe a new shotgun would be nice. The same type with multiple barrels. I would like that. Ah. Welcome to the Stormfront. Well, that was uh, a quick fight. Nice. You see how this thing blew up? It made like this ring around it. Oh. I was looking at that, man. Health regen and gun damage. Plus 19%. Oh, shell capacity, though. It's not a huge number, but it's still... You see how fast my shields are going down without any handicap. So you know that's going to be worse. My shields just don't last. Wouldn't mind a new shield if I can ever find one. Most of the time if a shield drops it's always junk. Scrap metal. I think it's worse than scrap metal. Well, I think this base is pretty much done. We're going to go to that little... Little building right there. Ah. Uh, there's a switch on it. I think you shoot the switch from inside. Or from the outside. If I remember correctly. Not unless it was back there. Oh, what was that? Electrical fuse. Oh, ah, never mind. It's right there. It's right on top. And it opens up this. And it just has a bunch of boxes. And this is for a quest later on. The audio cassettes or audio recorders. See, I use a digital recorder to record my voice when I'm doing my videos. I should like change it and like make it look like one of these. It'd be kind of cool, just for the for the fun of it. I'm a big fan of Borderlands. Gearbox needs to send me a, a free copy, just because I'm a fan. Right? <laughs> It'll never happen. Head on towards the city I need to go to. I don't know if I'm going to be advancing the story anymore. But hey, I know where a couple of chests are. Thrashers. Oh, those are sucky right there. The wormhole ones? I do not like the wormhole ones. They, when you get, when they get close to you, they, they're called the wormhole for a reason. Is that they, uh, try to suck you in. See how he's doing that? He sucks you in, then you, like, basically do contact damage non-stop. Ow. Hurt myself with my own grenade. That's not good. Shotguns are really good against these guys. Launcher ammo. Nice. Oh. Oh, slag. Come on, come over here. No, you stay in the same spot. Hit him in the eyes. Damn. That was a good amount of ESP I got from him. Shield. And it sucks. Well, I've said this several times in my videos. Do not like turtle shields. Only use them only out of necess necessity. Get almost tongue, twi tongue twisted by one, one word. Yay! Fun with phys -X. No. Can I get on top of this house? 
Uh, there's nothing up there anyways. Why am I saying that's a house? That's a shack. That's no house. That's no house. It's a space station. A little Star Wars reference for you guys. Even though I didn't say it quite the same. Yeah, I just recently watched on Netflix that uh, Star Wars story, a ho uh, solo, a Star Wars story. Yeah, some of the uh, flying scenes are kind of cool with the Millennium Falcon and whatnot, but it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, to me, I grew up with the original Star Wars, like the 70s and 80s ones. Luke Skywalker or Mark Hamill. Oh, yeah. And I think I say I like Mark Hamill being, you know, Luke Skywalker and whatnot. But him playing as Joker in the anime series and in the Gotham series for the uh, the video game, he does a really good, really good Joker. All right, let's see. Nope. What do I have equipped? It so. Barrel, a barrel room cleaner, one fifty three. Oh, that's my bushwhack I had, like, where it really, really since, like, forever ago. It was a good gun. That's why I used it. But not anymore. Show capacity, minus 64. Oh, that's guns right there. I was like, I thought that was mine. It's like, learn to read, bro. Learn to read. I don't know how, man. Okay. Actually, I need to refill my ammo while I'm here. We might have enough time to do the uh, mission at that town with a shield generator. I might die a couple of times because it is kind of a pain in the butt. Because you got to fend off a lot of robots, plus the BA versions. Always have to switch to the barrel, even though I'll have to get out of the vehicle. Kind of running out of time here on my video, so it might be a little longer of a video, but let's get something done besides just exploring. If uh, next uh, next episode, I'm gonna explore around here because there's a few chests to look forward to. But let's do this. You can go in there. It's the bar. That's where the ho dunks are, or it could be the zaffords. Yeah, it's the zaffords. Never mind. Ho dunks live in the dust. These are the zaffords. I do believe they are. But it's just a bar. There's a couple of shops in there. There's a quest in there for later on that you won't see now. And there's like a slot machine you can mess with. Alright, let's do this. I don't know if I'm actually ready for it though. Let's see how many times I get knocked down. It's transmitting the supply. Hold it. I'm gonna switch to this just because. We've just gotta wait a few minutes and. Angel, that's enough. You can stop pretending to help the bad guys now. Angel. Sorry, I had to cut her off for a moment. Wow, my aim. Ow. I want to try out this gun and see if it's even worth my time when it comes to robots.
Take him down, Kurt. Take him down. Help me out. Oh no. So far. Darn it. The lunar engineers denied our request. Send me the constructors. I want those bastards dead now. Try not to talk too much because there's a lot of talking in this from NPCs. Down a big old barrier grenade. Several minutes. The fast travel has landed. Give me a second while I calibrate it to Sanctuary's new position. Fast no, it wasn't too bad. Location Sanctuary is now available for travel. Go quickly. Use the fast travel station and get back to Sanctuary. Angel, you and I are going to have a serious talk. Ooh. Is it better than what I got? No, of course not. It's a double barrel. Ah, like dusk. That's worth a little bit of money. Ah, that, I think that's the best round I've ever had of that. You usually get knocked down or the, uh, the shield generator will always get just, like destroyed. You have to go and repair it. That was like the best time. I, that's like literally because you guys are here. Like I said, you guys are good luck. The Meerkat Nation is really good luck. That's literally the best time I've ever, you know. Can everybody stop talking, please? Always cutting off constantly. But, um, I always, this thing, even if I don't get knocked down, this thing always gets blown up at least a couple of times. So, that is literally the best run I've ever had on this. Because I'm doing it for you guys. That's it. That's like my only explanation. You guys are good luck. Of course, my Meerkat Nation is always going to have good luck for me, right? We're all a family, if that sounds as corny as possible. Right, let's look around for a second. And let's head to Sanctuary. It doesn't take long to get to Sanctuary after it flies, but there is a momentary lapse there that's not around, so. Box. Alright. Two seconds. That constant talking by those Hyperion speakers never ends, does it? Alright, here we are. Oh man, look at all those yellow exclamation points. 
Well, it looks like next episode is going to be busy. Because I'm out of time, guys. We got some stuff done. We got some exploration done. Found some chests, whatnot. Just did some fun things. And uh, next episode, we'll be doing all these yellow exploration points, as you see on the map right now. Look at all that. Man, we got a lot to do. All right, well, if you'd like to become part of the Meerkat Nation, hit that subscribe button and join today. I want to see those numbers grow, guys. Let's, let's grow this Meerkat Nation. Let's grow the, the family. And if you like my commentary, find it helpful, funny, or entertaining at all, hit that like button. Even though there wasn't a lot of commentary because there was a lot of talking in this episode, but eh, you can't over talk the NPCs. That just doesn't make sense because people like watching the story too. And right next to that subscribe button, after you hit that subscribe button, you'll see a bell icon. You hit that bell icon, you'll be notified of all my uploads. So you never miss any of these awesome adventures with Papa Meerkat. That should be awesome, you know. Don't want to miss any of those. But too precious to miss, right? <laughs> Alright guys, well, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.